I'm Justin Borvitz, Research School of Biology at ANU. I'm excited to be at Peter Andrews' newest project here today in Mongonia, and we're seeing what he's done after uh, a couple years. I think we need to better manage our agriculture lands in extreme climates of the future, and certainly we need good scientific advice to the government, and hopefully they listen. There's a lot of challenges to balance. Food security is important, but climate security is ultimately possibly more important. What's also on the table at Glasgow and the COP is negative emissions or carbon drawdown. And the only way to pull down carbon that we've emitted in the past is called negative emissions, but photosynthesis is probably the biggest one that our land actually cycles 10 times more carbon than humanity emits in a year. And so having some resilience in the system, soils that can hold water, vegetation that can respond to the floods is really key. And we'd like to capture more carbon in the land than we release. And good land management that holds that soil longer can be a big part of the solution. We have to demonstrate it, and that's up to farmers. You know, not necessarily optimizing for cash in the near term, but investing in their ecological infrastructure and their natural capital. And a big part, I think, is regenerating the landscape. So we'll see what happens in Glasgow, but if we come up with some good rules to manage land systems, then we can get soil health and resilience, which we need for adaptation regardless, as well as some mitigation to bring down CO2 in the long run.